Brittany Griner is a tremendously accomplished player. She, she's won basically every award you can in this league. 
but you can also tell that she still comes to the game so hungry, still wants to accomplish more. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first. Here's Howard. She's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Quigley can't get it to go. New York in the lead. Now McDonald. Pass to Agumake. Shot clock at five. It's Nia Coffey on the wing. Find her luck from deep. Gets it to go from downtown. And hey, Coffey can make this shot, especially when given room. Outside Howard. Ball's knocked loose. From 11 feet away. Good. And Christy Tolliver gets the assist. Well, when you watch Ryan Howard, one thing is abundantly clear. She doesn't need a lot of space or time to get her shot off. Now here's McDonald. Rossi outside. Pass to Griner. Over Tolliver. And too long on the shot. It's been a bit of a struggle for her this quarter in terms of scoring the ball. Austin, here's Quigley. She's covered by Tarasi. Picked by Parker. Shot for 12. Banked in off the glass. What energy from Candace Parker, doing whatever she can to grab the offensive rebound. Appreciate the effort. Outside McDonald. Pass to Tarasi. The three. And again, it's the Liberty from deep. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. You need some help as well. Timeout called the sky. Make substitutions. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Outside. Spins. Pass to Henderson. Austin. She's guarded by Alamon. Oh! And the official whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good, and she'll go to the line. Not only is this a key regular season game, it also weighs heavy in the Commissioner's Cup standings. Yeah, each of these squads has a chance to get into the final. It is a must win if you're talking about the cup race. You have to respect the determination that Shakira Austin brings to the court. She plays extremely hard and will not back down from any matchup. Rossi outside. Pass to Coffee. Alema. Here's Tarasi, covered by Henderson. On a screen. Six to shoot. Here's Diana Tarasi from the arc. Sky trail. Jefferson outside. Screen by Heinz Allen. Jefferson, no good. Here's New York now. Aleman with it. Pass to Tarasi. Hits the three-point bomb. Fluid, confident, and overall reliable in catch-and-shoot situations. 
That's part of what makes Velocity an offensive juggernaut. Now here's Mitchell. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Here's Henderson. The rebound by the Liberty. And here is Alemán. Pass to Parker. It's good, and she makes her first shot of the game. Well, that's a strong finish for a player who is no stranger to physical play. Parker is not afraid to get her elbows dirty at either end. Now here's Mitchell. Jefferson outside. Screen by Austin. Here's Mitchell. Pass to Austin. That shot off. Nice D from Nia Coffey. Well, for some players, it just takes a few seasons to find their footing in the WNBA. Take Cheyenne Parker, for example. During her first three years, she never averaged more than four points per game. On no good. Henderson with it. Now guarded by Tarasi. Now here's Henderson. To the wing on the left. Hines Allen. Well, you should. And in 2018, Cheyenne Parker made a giant leap in what was her fourth year in the league. Well, Parker scoring more than double to 10 per game. The key for her, that bump has been a permanent one, becoming a consistent scoring threat for her teams. Timeout called the Liberty. Tarasi on the wing. Plays on. Pass to Parker. To the middle. Adama. She's covered by Jefferson. The basket drops and she gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up for her. It's going to go on Jefferson. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Hartley outside. Jefferson. Mitchell outside. Screen by Heinz Allen. Back to Jefferson. Clock at six. Shoots over Alamon. Jefferson, no good. New York leading. Here's Alamon. Pass to Tarasi. The three ball. Down it goes. Her third basket. He's now three for four. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. The defense, they have to close out quicker. Now here's Jefferson. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. The drive by Tiffany Mitchell for three. Hartley's shot is off. It's two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Now Tarasi. She's got nine. And the Liberty getting another bucket right there. Huge advantage for them already. Total control. And as well as they're playing at both ends, I'd look for this lead to get even bigger. Absolutely. Three. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Liberty out in front. They're up by 10. And quarter two will get underway just after this short break. And 
we'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move into the second. And taking a look at the Liberty performance here. Guys, what are your thoughts? It's simple. Not much has gone wrong for them offensively. Very few bumps in the road as uh, it's been an easy ride for them. Howard with the ball. To the paint, Parker. That's in. Coming off an assist from Ryan Howard. A potent competitor inside the paint. You can easily count on Parker to produce inside. Outside, McDonald. Passed on them off. Rhea Hartley with some nice D. And it's the sky ball. Eight point game. Here's Parker. And it's Brittany Griner with the rebound. And here is Alemal. He plays on to the screen. Harry McDonald, here we go. Good D by Maisha Hines Allen. That's a surprise. Out of character for her to miss those when the D's not right in her face. To the inside. Here's Parker. Hahn grabs the miss. Here's New York now. Pass to play Zons. Here's Reiner. And she finishes nicely on the layup. Don't need much range to hit from that distance. We're now around a minute and a half into the second quarter. On the wing, Ryan Howard plays on, covering. Out to the right wing. Back to Howard. Quigley. And once again, off the mark by Chicago. Pass to Griner. Uses the glass to finish the layup. She had her head on a swivel and was able to still pick up the pass and get the assist. Going all in, that was the 2K drive, and it's well worth the second look. Yeah, and it's finishes like that, which have helped them build the lead here in the first half. Here's Heinz Allen. That's good, and it's Ryan Howard with the assist. Well, we know Heinz Allen can score from the outside, but don't forget, she's a problem down low. Outside, McDonald. Pass to plays on. Here's Griner. Plays on with it. Down to five on the shot clock. McDonald, no good. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. To the middle. Here's Parker. Outside quickly. Misses the three. Now here's Alamon. She's covered closely. Pass to McDonald. Over Howard. McDonald, no good. And so it's Chicago with it. Their defense has allowed only four points in the quarter. Both loose. And a bit of a battle for the ball, and the official signals a jump ball there. to Hartley. Fires the three. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Well, you know, since being drafted back in 2014, Hartley has really improved her shooting from long range, making her that much tougher to guard. Here's Hahn. Outside McDonald. Reiner. That's in, and her fourth basket of the night. She's taken seven shots. That's a solid 57%. Now, here is Howard. Hartley outside. Parker inside. She's covered by Hahn. Right side, Howard. Six on the shot clock. 
And she banks in the layup. You can always expect Howard to run the pick and roll with precision. She mastered it in college, and she's only gotten better in the pros. Well, Candace Parker spent her first 13 years in Los Angeles. From the first overall pick in the 2008 draft all the way to the 2020 bubble, Parker was the face of the Sparks. Now here's Hong. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Here's Howard. Rebound New York. That's too good a look to pass up there, despite the result. And Parker eventually leaving the Sparks as a free agent. But what a legacy she left in L.A. Well, to me, in front of that downtown L.A. arena, Candace absolutely deserves a statue next to Shaq, Magic, Kareem, all those legends. Parker, a huge part of the L.A. Hoops history. Pass to Quigley. Finds Allen. Here's Parker. The shot's good on the assist by Maisha Hines Allen. Wide open look. And props to Hines Allen for locating the open teammate using her GPS. Timeout called the Liberty. to the wing. Now here's Alamon. She's covered by Jefferson. Oh, Gumake outside. Four on the shot clock. Can't hit it from 12 feet. Sky trail. Pass to Jefferson. Now here's Anderson. Here is Mitchell. Here's Austin. It's stolen by Ogumake. Here's Alema. Parker with the ball. Parker defending. Rossi outside. Alema. They need this. Parker. She's got six. Pass to Henderson. Five on the clock. And again, it's the sky from deep. And we know Henderson can drain it from deep. And if we remember it, well, the defense, they must remember it. Outside, Parker. Now here's Alamon. Now Coffey from deep. Jefferson pulls it in. out why she didn't bury that one. Not a defender near her. Jefferson outside. Pass to Mitchell. Jefferson. Outside Parker. From deep. The rebound by the Liberty. And here's Karasi. He's got 11. Ogumake can't hit. 
great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. Here's Henderson. And so she earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact. And he shoot two. It's on Diana Tarasi. Well, you gotta love Destiny Henderson's commitment. Absorbing the foul and still getting the shot off. And the first one at the line is good. The sky making a switch here. Ties it up. A former five-star recruit and college champion, I think it was destiny for Henderson to pursue greatness. Now here's Alamon. Pass to Parker. Tarasi covered by Henderson. That one good for two. Yeah, she's played an important role in her offense today, and really without her, they might not have the lead right now. Here's Austin. Mitchell outside. Picked by Parker. Now here's Henderson. For three. Rebounded by Coffey. Now here's Alamon. She's covered by Tolliver. Pass to Agumake. it up and banks it in. A really difficult shot. Ogumake with great concentration, just totally locked in offensively. Shot clock and game clock, one second differential. Now here's Parker. She's covered by Ogumake. Now Parker. She has six. There's the three. Can't hit that one. So it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's the Liberty up by four. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter.